Hey you guys, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would highly appreciate it. But I want to jump into this. Okay, Nicki Minaj had a song that dropped last night and people are making accusations that she's doing drugs, which I highly doubt. She was sniffling as she, as she was on live last night, but this is allergy season. And people, hello, they do still get sick. You don't have to have COVID to catch a cold. But check out this video. Towards the end, her and Drake team up. So you gotta listen to that video. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. Peace. Is everybody here? <sighs> okay. Well, you guys, um, I don't have a lot of time. So, so first things first is that um, this is the 12 year anniversary of Be Me Up Scotty Mixtape. And a lot of you have been with me for so freaking long. <laughs> repping me holding me down when i'm not around y'all be going hard for me love you to death um so because this is the 12 year anniversary we thought that we would do something special um i have never ever in life put my mixtapes on streaming services as you know a lot of people have done that and i've never done it so what we're doing tonight is we are putting Be Me Up Scotty for the first time ever on streaming services. There might be like two or three songs that didn't make the cut for, for whatever reason. Um, but but yeah, so for the most part, the whole the whole tape is going to be on streaming services now for you guys. I wonder what's your, what was y'all favorite Be Me Up Scotty song? Cause I was real, I was recently listening to it, and you know what? I can't stop playing. I can't stop playing Envy, and I can't stop playing Best I Ever Had, and I can't stop playing Go Hard. Um, of course, Itty Bitty Piggy, uh, Slumber Party, um, Gia. So those were. Did you have a favorite? All of them are favorite. You can't pick one. Chaz, I. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, those were my favorite. I was listening to them le recently. Um, so, so shout out to, you know, DJ Holiday. <clears throat> he he did my tape back then. Um, shout out to Deb, uh, Gucci Man, the whole Atlanta that was rapping me at that time. Thank you guys. Um, um, and and yeah, so. A lot of people showed me love on that tape, which I'm very happy about. Of course, Dwayne Carter is on there. He showed me lots of love. Um, um, Drake, love you too, Def Drake. Thank you for showing me love on that. I don't know who else was on there, but anyway. So having said that, um, who? Else? So so because I, I knew if I would just re-release the mixtape without putting out anything new, I knew y'all would like you know cuss me the fuck out. So what I did was. I did a couple new joints for the mixtape. Um, so it's so it's not. I know y'all was asking me where's the cover art and this and that and this number one. This ain't no TikTok shit. Uh, 
this ain't no TikTok thing. You understand? So I appreciate you guys for caring about that. But this is just to get back to the basics a little bit. Um, to the essence of why I started rapping. Um, I started rapping because I love listening to people that, that you know, spit. Like, I love punchlines. That was always, like, my like my favorite thing and, and always made people, like, my favorite artist because of that. Um, so, I'm sorry, y'all, that my nose is running. Um, so, we wanted to add a couple other things to get you guys um to get you guys excited about the re-release re of the mixtape and so what i did was i added a couple joints so um i did a remix to crocodile teeth and then i did a record called um fractions on an old jv and I did another song. This is actually on an original beat, but um, but it's you know in the freestyle vibe. It's still you know free, freestyle type type things. So so that's all in preparation of you know of course I'm working on the album for you guys. Um, hi Ali Berry. <laughs> um, I'm working for the album. Um, I just. I might have uh, uh, looked upon a couple new little little things for the album yesterday too. So the album is coming soon. The documentary is as well. I'm really excited for you guys to see the documentary. I know you're gonna love it. Hi, Beanie Man. I love you. Um, but but no, you guys. I didn't want you to be thinking about this as some. Oh my God, we gotta. You know. This is Nikki's lead single. No, to answer your questions, because I saw a lot of you guys asking that on Twitter. It's not. Um, but it is very, very important. So, a couple things. Hi, Ming Lee. Hi, Courtney. A couple things. Um, Papa Bear is doing great. I love Papa Bear. Yesterday, Papa Bear said, I mean, two, two, two days ago, he said, Mama. What's so funny? <laughs> he said, Mama. And I happened to be recording him. I was like, say it. And he kept on saying, Mama, Mama. And he was like yelling at me because I didn't realize he was saying it a bunch of times until I went back and played the, the video. And I said, oh, I see why my little uh, baby was yelling at me because Mama wasn't hearing him saying Mama all them times. And yes, so he said, Mama, I might put that out because it's so cute. But then on the other hand, I, I, I on the other hand, it's, you know, it's, it's like my baby. And I don't know yet. I'm so overprotective. I'm, you know, a mama bear. Um, but, but, um, so so those are the three joints if you if you are on my mailing list i did a really dope little letter for you guys that you will get you will get a letter from me it's going over a few things that just went down in the last few months for me um as always i have to tell you guys that i fucking love you so much um hi tamar um because you always make me feel happy um, even when I stay away for a long time, you always make me feel happy. This little hiatus was really fun because I was, you know, in mommy mode, but also I went through like this crazy little writer's block for a second. And it, if you are an artist, no matter what you do, like, you know how crazy it is when all of a sudden, like, you can't really flex your art the way you used to. So I did go through a little bit of writer's block. And I was like, damn. And then all of a sudden, 
um I got you know what I hit Drake and I asked him I was like yo I'm doing this mixtape who got who got the hottest shit out right now who should I jump on blah 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 and he was like here so he sent me something so that's one of the things that you will hear tonight it's called seeing green um that was Drake sent it to me and asked me to get one. Oh, it's <laughs> Oh, you got the nerve to be on my live, Drake? You better call me right the fuck now. It's going down. The goat is on the motherfucking line. What's up, the goat? Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. Can you see my snot coming down? Y'all, yeah. yeah, my snot is coming down because right before I got on live... I got a really, a really beautiful surprise that I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to tell you guys about it, but it was so sweet. I just couldn't stop crying. So after I did my makeup, I had to redo a little bit under my eyes and my nose because someone that I fucking love so much um, sent me the most sentimental, meaningful, beautiful... Thing, card and flowers and stuff like that but when I read the card I just I, it made me super super emotional but um so how can I call Champagne Poppy cause he getting on this live y'all tell me how to do it I don't know how to do it y'all know I'm dumb you gotta find his name you gotta find his name tell him to write something Mm -hmm. He probably gonna hide now. He like, bitch, I ain't say all of that now. <laughs> Where he at? He gotta write something and then he hit his name. And they told me not to do it like this too, but I wasn't planning on adding anybody. Drake, type because I'm adding you. You can't run away. You've already shown yourself. And it's... It's moving, it's so many people that I can't even pinpoint it. And this, this happened, this always happened, child. Yeah, it's a lot. He's not even commenting. Mm -mm. Well, if I pause it and text, can I, um, will they still be there or will I take, come off of it? Now, they'll still be here if you pause it. Yeah, can they wait for a second? Yeah, you want to do it? <laughs> they know what I'm doing too. My pants ain't stupid. My pants know exactly what the fuck I did. Yeah. Go. Did, did you get him? You guys, how did he sent the request? Find that, please. Hit here and type in his name. Champagne. Yeah, there we go. I'm out here. What's up? Where you at? In these streets. You're in other black clad streets. I saw black, black clad clad streets. Yo, you know, you know, you know. Um, Nicki Minaj dropping music tonight. <laughs> no, oh, you did? You got get? You got get hit, bro? Come on, man. What's up, man? So you know, so you know, Nicki Minaj dropping some new songs tonight. I didn't know that. You don't know that? You got. Yeah, you gotta get Excuse hit. Excuse me, sir. Of course, it's good. Excuse me, sir. You didn't know the music tonight. We gotta get hit. Huh? Oh yeah. So I'm, I'm, it's I'm, 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 motherfucking always in the motherfucking building. The I'm doing your... on the motherfucking line. What up? Like, don't what nobody up? ever, ever come motherfucking. 
Y'all not seeing him. Y'all not playing with him as Man, the motherfucking bro. artist of the decade and all of that. What's really good? <laughs> Young fucking money, YMCMB. Oh, I like that. Motherfucker. Hey. I like that. Damn, you know I like when you go off like that. Oh, okay, yeah, because I was going to get him some Queen Radio vibes thing. So basically, since we only, it's like five more minutes left. Yeah. So I was telling them that you sent me this um, record called Seeing Green. That's right. What what made you think I would sound good on that? I mean, you know, it just, it a bit, well, can I tell you who else is on it or no? It's a surprise. Okay, all right, well then. Well, I, it's just been a really long time since since that, since that moment. Back. Yeah, it was just, it was just, it didn't feel right with you not being on it. That's really the best way I could put it. It was like, it was fun the other way, but it, it's, it's, it's epic this way, you know? So... I just, we just, you know, I had some real heart to heart to you lately, like just about the fact that it's like, it's just your world. Nobody does this shit better than you. And it's like, when you're gone, you know, obviously Papa Bear's here now. So we are, you know, we, we understand the priorities, but you know, when you're gone, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm sure I speak for everybody in the live when it's like, yo, we really miss you. Like, we really miss your presence. And just like, we miss the bars. We miss the excitement that you bring. So it's like. You know, I just like I've been on you lately to just you know you know what time it is, and you know I'm coming over um this weekend too. So yeah, I'm blood so we clot get to work. Yeah, two blood clot life. No, I'm really this there. Man, this man been saying he was coming to my house for the last two weeks, y'all. So no, now y'all gotta make sure he come over here. While I lied to him, I, no, I swear I did this. He kept on lying, so I was like, yo, no, I'm cooking for you this time. I'm cooking steak, shrimp, and all of that. <laughs> and he's. Still, he still stood me up. No, I didn't stand you up. That's not you. Don't make me sound like that. All right, no. But listen, on the real shit, I am. I love you so much, Drake. Like, so this. So just let me tell y'all the real shit. I was gonna say it, but I didn't want to say it too much. He single handedly got me out of my writer's block, and I'm never gonna forget it. And I'm gonna shout it to the fucking world on the mountaintops because that's the real shit. That's my hand to God. He sent me something and it made me feel so competitive again. I was like, yo, what the fuck am I doing? Like, get, like, you need to start writing. And Facts. whenever I hear Drake and Wayne rap, it just is always going to inspire something in me. But outside of Drake's raps, it's his like pep talks. He'll, he'll send one text that'll make me really like reevaluate everything. He's a fucking genius. Like, as a musical artist, but also just as a human. Like, please, everybody know that. Like, that's real shit. Like, that's, that's not very sweet. Shit. Um, And so I love you very much. You I guys, you. it's about to, the song is about to come out. I'm going to try to go live tomorrow, y'all. I'm not going to get a lot of time because somebody came extra late. I'm not going to say no names, Tay, but he played his fucking no, stupid what? ass fucking what? Stuff, what? As always. <laughs> but you guys, go and listen to Seeing wow. Green featuring the two GOATs, Drizzy Drake. And little motherfucking way. Go I'm gonna pull up. Beat me up, Scotty, right now. Go listen to Fractions. And yeah. Fractions is a fucking slap. So it is a slap. a slap. And and tomorrow, tomorrow I'm pulling out my um my YMCMB sweatshirt, the old one with the Birdman <laughs> logo on it, like just for you know what I'm saying, just because. But listen, yo, listen, I have some listen, YMCMB slippers. Listen, I'm in the middle of the street, but I want to tell you this: I love you with all my heart, and I'm work. I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you got in your bag for this re-release, but you know what time it is now. I'm not taking, you know, I don't, I'm not going to say too much on here, but it's that time. So um, okay. I'll be there this weekend. I love you. I love you too, Drake. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys, bye. I love you so much for tuning in. God bless you. It was a lot more stuff that I wanted to say, but we ran out of time. But you guys, check out the music and let me know how you feel about the music. Um... I'm wishing you guys all the best. Um, was there anything else I needed to say? Uh, not that I can think of. Go check out the music, you guys, and let me know what you think. I love you dearly, okay? Bye.